Hi there everyone, I'm at East Midlands Airport just outside Nottingham and shortly I'm getting on a plane to fly north in the hope of seeing the northern lights. We're not landing or going to the snow or anything, we're just going to fly then do a U-turn and come back. Now the weather above is cloudy, that's not a problem of course because we're going to be flying above the clouds, but what is a problem is the space weather, which isn't looking too good, the solar activity is not too high, so we might not be in luck. Only one way to find out, let's go and catch this flight, fingers crossed. We're going to go up to the edge or the northern edge of um, UK airspace to try and peek at the auroral oval which should be glowing towards the north. Now what we've done is we've brought everybody into the departure lounge at East Midlands Airport and we are going to give them a presentation, an hour's presentation on the stars they can see up there plus what causes the aurora and the sun effect basically and the interaction with the Earth's magnetic field. And then we're going to get on board the aircraft, we're going to fly towards the north, hopefully turn the, well no we won't hopefully, we will turn the lights off and give everybody about 20 minutes dark adaption time before we actually get to our point north and then the plane will fly backwards and forwards doing a racetrack pattern and uh, people on one side of the aircraft alternately will see a view towards the north. If we see the aurora that's brilliant but you've got no guarantee with that. But the stars are fantastic up there. The Milky Way looks spectacular when you see it out of the plane window. So I'm quite excited about this. are actually undergoing a chemical reaction now and becoming much more sensitive and outside there are some great views of the stars they'll get even better as your eyes get fully dark adapted you can see that aurora shape as pete said not much, not much by way of features but it is certainly visible yes i can see with my trained eye no apparent structure in it but you can certainly see the suspension bridge effect where it's arching over very slightly yeah, if you're into films and movies, it kind of looks um, like actually the, the Milky Way, star, but which not was as mentioned. Good. It is an incredible atmosphere um, because there are three people either side of the plane, and in order for people to be able to see out of the window, there has to be a sort of um, aurora shuffle, if you like, where the people at the window then move to the aisle and vice versa. So they all have to get up and. So there's a community spirit, I think, and everybody's very excited about it. And what happens is we tell them to do that right at the very beginning of the flight, but after a while they just find their own natural rhythm to do it. And I think people make great <laughs> friends on these flights as a consequence of that. Very distinctive. Ah, I recognise this person. Hey, how are you? are causing trouble. No, no, how's it all going, alright? Yeah, not so bad. Where are you going, sir? Going back to my wife. Oh, right. Oh, you've been, oh, you've been naughty moving forward, have you? Yeah. Here it is. This is the aurora lock. And it's beginning to break into some knots. You can see the little sort of bright, bright condensation on it there, look. Running along the bottom of the aurora sheet there. Oh, yes, it's beginning to form into a little structure there. Show you a photo because I've got my camera down here. My camera's been adjusted for dark flying, so it's got a red cellophane cover over it. If I show you the yeah. photos I've got there, that's not bad. So we've got the red glow on the top, and we've also got the green kicking in there. So that's the main aurora. If we go a bit later in the display, if I wind forward a bit, you can see that there is a bit of structure there. So there's a ray starting to form in that one, if I zoom it up. The stars get a bit blurry on the flights because it's a moving platform. There's a 30 second exposures. It's still a fairly weak display, I have to say. I mean, we have, um, we have displays which are so 
intense that you can look down the aircraft and people's faces look green because the aurora is glowing. And we're always uh, badgering the flight deck to go as far north as, as possible. And we've had one flight, uh, it was out of Bristol, where we went as far north as possible. And it was such an active aurora that we were actually underneath it. The aurora oval had spread out and we had to go in and say, please can you go a bit further south because we can't see it, it's above us. Um, so it, you can never tell what's happening with the aurora. It's, it's just so unpredictable and that's one of the beauties of it really.